Hey, welcome to another video for our car application. So in this video, we're going to add case number three. So in our car so far, we've had case one, which is add an item to the inventory. Two is add it to our shopping cart. Three is going to be checkout, and then there's going to be a default. So in a case statement, we have a case and then break. Then finally, if we don't choose any one of those three, let's do a default. And let's uh, tell it uh, something else. Let's just do break. Okay, so the final thing is checkout. So we'll do a print the shopping cart to see everything in it. And then the console write will tell us uh, the total cost of our items. And so s.checkout does two things. First of all, it shows the total value, and then it clears the cart. So there should be no items left. Let's see if this thing works. And if so, then we have a completed console app. Okay, once more we go through this tedious point here. Okay, so it looks like I've created three different cars. I can do Ford, Chevy, and a Chrysler. Now I'm going to buy some. So let's do number two. And I'm going to buy a bunch of Corvettes. So it's item zero. I'm going to type in a two again to buy another item, which is item one, Corvette. So you can see I have two Corvettes. Let's do one more Corvette. So it's item two and then item one. So uh, that means I have three Corvettes. I'm typing a three this time, which is checkout. So checkout tells me the total price, which is $370,000. Now those are kind of pricey. Now if I try to add a new car to my cart, number two, and I pick, uh, let's item two this time, you can see that my cart only has one item it has been cleaned out. If I type a three for checkout, it tells me that that one car is worth $14,000. Okay, so this is a really simple application. It shows a couple of important things. First of all, it shows us a class. So we have a car class. Second, it shows us a class that has composition in it. So the store has a list of cars. And then finally, we have an interface. It's a text interface, so it's kind of ugly, but we have separated the code from our, uh, you know, our, our GUI code, our front-end code, from the classes behind it. And so that's a pretty important concept that we're going to stress throughout the rest of this course. Separating your courses or your classes, like the, uh, the car and the store, from the uh, actual program itself. In the next phase of this application, we're going to delete the console app and recreate the process using a graphical user interface.